Hey guys, Enrique here from Maven Analytics, and I want to show you a really cool Excel trick that is going to let you return multiple matches from a single lookup value using the new filter function for Excel 365. So let's take a look. All right, so to showcase how we can use the filter function in Excel, I started out by building out a small little dashboard of my hypothetical Airbnb properties that I have in New York City. So you'll see that I have 17 places total. This is the name, the place ID in Airbnb, the neighborhood it's in, the room type, the price, the minimum nights per stay, and the number of reviews. And I've got this little toggle so I can select each place and highlight the details for each. And if we go on to the reviews tab here, you'll see that we've got place ID, and these are values that are gonna match these unique place IDs here, and the date and reviews for each one of these places. So you'll see that we have 216 reviews here, which match these 216 reviews here. So what I wanna do is to use this lookup value here to look up the matching reviews for my reviews table. Now you might think to use VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP to pull those matching values, but if I try that, let's try VLOOKUP first. The lookup value is gonna be this place here. We're gonna look for it in this table array. And let's say we want the values from the third column over and return exact matches, press enter. You'll see that I do get a review for this place. And if I move it, you'll see that I get reviews for the selected place. The problem is that this one right here has 20 reviews total, and I'm only seeing one here. And if I copy this value, let's grab it from here and use it to look here, so if I filter for this place, you'll see that we have all 20 reviews, but we're only pulling the first review. So I'm gonna remove the filters here. Now, if we used XLOOKUP, what we could do is look up the last one instead. So let's use this lookup value. We want the values in this lookup array and return the matching reviews. And if I comma over to the search mode, I could change it to search last to first, press enter, and now we have great place. Let's look for that one more time. And we're getting the last one, which is cool and everything, but we wanna be able to pull all the matches, not just the first or last one. Now, traditionally, there's really no easy way to do this without coming up with crazy, complicated formulas. But now that Excel introduced the new dynamic array formulas, we can actually use the filter function for this. So let's start by writing out our filter function. Now, if you're following along and you don't have Excel 365, then you're not gonna see this, but you can still stick around and see how it works in case you're thinking about getting Microsoft 365, which I actually do recommend. So what we want is to filter the values in this array here, which is a reviews, and only include the reviews in which the place ID is equal to the place ID selected right here. Close that, press enter, and you'll see that something funny happened, which is that this single formula here spilled results down into the cells below it and it actually spilled 20 results for all 20 reviews, which is exactly what we wanted. And this is something new in Excel that's tied to the new dynamic array functionality. And it's dynamic because if I change this, move up, now it's only gonna spill seven rows down instead of 20. Now it's nine, one, one, 12. And we get the exact result that we wanted. And that's the filter function in a nutshell for you, which is a great alternative to VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP if you want to return multiple matches for a single lookup value. Again, only available for Excel 365, but it really just begins to scratch the surface we can do in Excel 
with the new dynamic array formulas. So again, make sure to comment below if you have any questions or suggestions, and like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this one. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one.